Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday Night is Organ Music, the Organ Music Night tonight, of course, with an Irish theme. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, which means we get to play around with all these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Irish melodies and Irish ideas. I have an incredible mix of things for you this evening. We have classical music, we have traditional music, we have popular music, we have some hymns, we have some arrangements of popular tunes, we, uh, there's everything, a bit of everything. There's some sing-along stuff as well, and if you want to get your dancing shoes on, then feel free, because we're going to be jigging about as well. So, uh, that, for those of you who don't know, that was part of the uh, Irish National Anthem. I'm not even going to pretend to try pronouncing it. Um, I'm just not even going to try. It's Irish, Gaelic, and I don't speak any form of Gaelic at all. Um, so I'm not even going to try it, but it's a wonderful melody, isn't that wonderful? Very rousing, and dare I say it, much better than the British National Anthem. Having said that, I think everything is Brit better than the British National Anthem, really, isn't it? It's a bit of a dirge. So anyway, anyway, here we go with some very exciting stuff. Now, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, and did you know there is a hymn to St. Patrick. Oh, if you didn't know this, you're going to love it. Now, I didn't know this either. Um, and I got a copy from our friend Jerry. Jerry Martin. I think Jerry is also here. Yes, Jerry is here. Hello, Jerry. Jerry is here. Now, Jerry is, everyone knows Jerry as an American now, but Jerry is, of course, originally from Ireland. And um, Jerry's been, been in America for what? Almost 20 years. Is that right? Something like that. Maybe slightly less now. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I was, of course, uh, um, in touch with Jerry through, throughout the last week and uh, getting some ideas for tonight's stream. And he, of course, sent me this. He sent me, it's just called St. Patrick, words by Sister Agnes. Now, that says it all, really, doesn't it? Um, and there are, there are very, very, very many verses to this. And they've been added to over the years. So if you happen to know the words to this, then do please sing along. If you don't, just enjoy them. It's wonderful. So I'm going to play around with the theme, St. Patrick. And I'm going to build up to the hymn as it is there. So get yourselves a glass of the black stuff or a glass of the life, uh, water of life. You know what I'm talking about. And get ready to uh, toast to St. Patrick. You're going to love it. I am.
Isn't that great? That's a wonderful piece of music. Um, I got a photocopy of this. Jerry sent me a copy of this, and then I, I listened to a version of it being sung, and I made a couple of little amendments to it because the way the the way the, uh, the rhythm was being sung, um, and it seems to be that's the way people like to sing it. So I hope I got that right for all those of you out there who do know that. Now, a lot of people probably don't know that. Um, I certainly didn't know it existed, but I'm very glad I do now, and that's going to become something regular for the... Um, something regular for the uh, repertoire. Now, there are a couple of very famous hymn tunes that we love from the Irish Isle. And um, one of them, one of them is um, a traditional Irish melody that's been turned into an evening hymn. And it's rather lovely indeed. The melody is called Saint Columba. Now, if you know your, if you know your patron saints, and you know St. Columba. Um, St. Columba came from Ireland to Scotland and um, got the whole Celtic thing going. There was, there was some kind of history there. I remember that vaguely from school. If anyone remembers exactly what um, St. Columba was all about, then uh, put a little story in the, in the, in the uh, description below in the chat and let us know. Don't forget, if you're in the chat, give us a thumbs up to, or a plus one to let me know you're in the chat and that you have already added your own thumbs up to the video to tell YouTube that you are enjoying yourselves. We have 200 people in the chat at the moment, so how about 200 thumbs up? Vanessa, how many thumbs up do we have for this evening? So 79! <gasps> That's not enough, people. We need at least 120 more. You know what I mean? A thumbs up! Plus one in the chat, and we know you're there. So here is the melody, St. Columba, which in the uh, ancient and modern revised is number 29. And as now the sun's declining rays at eventide descend, so life's brief day is sinking down to its appointed end. There you are, an evening hymn. What do you think of this?
Isn't that a beautiful melody? And yes, a number of people mentioned in the chat, including Graham, hi Graham, um, that you can also sing the 23rd Psalm to that, the Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. And yes, it is. It's a much more delicious melody than Krimond, which is a bit that of hackneyed these days, isn't it? Everybody plays that. It's rather wonderful. Now, 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 this is a big one. This is a big one. And I'm going to play... I'm going to play this. I played this not that long ago, actually. We did an evening of sort of hymns, favorite hymns, and we included this in the sort of the um, hymn evening. It was, is, of course, uh, St. Patrick's Breastplate, an old Irish melody. That's all it says about it. And um, in this wonderful old Ancient Modern Revised, it comes with this sort of the middle bit. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, and all that. Um, and it's all sort of in there. It's rather wonderful indeed. Um, and this piece of music features somewhere else, but we'll get to that in a moment. So here then is St. Patrick's Breastplate. We're going to do this, uh, the classical stuff first, then we're going to move on to the traditional and fun stuff. So I hope you don't mind. Right, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? I think after this I need something to drink. Thirsty work this evening. Hmm, what do I have to drink? Let's find out.
just over the top, over the top, but wonderful. Now, no, 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 no. Let me just have a dig around in my musical miscellany here. I have, here it is. Here it is. Now, I said that this piece of music is featured somewhere else. And I want you to do me a favour. When you finish watching this evening's concert, I want you to go and head over to another YouTube channel. That's the channel belonging to, there he is, he just wrote a message, Jerry Martin. Thank you, Jerry. Um, Jerry has just posted a video of the most amazing piece of music that needs to be known and sadly isn't known. It's Stanford's Sonata Celtica. And Stanford, who of course was an Irish composer, um, regularly, and there's going to be some of this this evening as well, um, regularly took some old Irish tunes and played around with them. Um, and his, f the final movement of his Sonata Celtica is based on St. Patrick's Bless Breastplate, St. Patrick's Breastplate, quite difficult to say. And um, like I say, Jerry has just posted an amazing recording, an amazing video, in fact, beautiful editing, beautiful playing, beautiful recording, marvellous, of uh, the Sonata Celtica. And he sent me the music, and I'm going to play to you the very ending, just the very ending, the last few bars, the last sort of entry of that um, theme, the wonderful um, St. Patrick's Breastplate theme. Um, and uh, I must warn you, I haven't practiced this, so I hope it works. Um, it looks playable. I've just printed it out, so I hope it's playable. Um, and um, yeah, it sounds something like this. But once you've, once you've finished this evening's concert, or when you've got some time at the weekend, go and check out Jerry's channel and check out his Sonata Celtica, the whole thing. It's a good sort of 20 minutes and three, three movements. Yes, three movements. And it's, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It tells... I, it's, it's wonderful. I'll, I'll say no more than that. I'll say no more than that. Right, listen to this. This is the final sort of uh, exposition of the theme before the piece ends. So here we go. Warts and all. Stanford really knows what he's doing there. I messed up the end there. Let me just quickly play the end again to, to remind myself what it should sound like. Sight reading. Sorry, people.
that's better. Wow, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Big crashing chords, just what I love. Stanford was an amazing composer. Um, that piece was recorded, and uh, sorry, not recorded, uh, finished in January 1918. Now, think about what was going on historically in 1918. Stanford, Stanford's music is, is, is wonderful and needs to be known a lot more. A lot of it gets forgotten, sadly. Uh, but it's absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Now, I have another piece of music by Stanford here. Uh, let me dig it out. Uh, again, this is going to be spot of sight reading because I love a challenge. And this was also sent to me by Jerry. Jerry is an expert on all things, all things Victorian. Well, I think actually um, um, Stanford is sort of post-Victorian, really, isn't he? He was, of course, around in the time of Victoria. But I think I think I would class him more as an Edwardian composer. Uh, Stanford is absolutely wonderful. And um, here's a piece of music by Stanford. I hope I can play it. I'll try. And um, it's just simply called Intermezzo, founded upon an Irish air. So an Irish melody. And like I said, Stanford loved his Irish heritage. He spent most of his life living in the UK. Um, but um, he loved his Irish heritage. And here is his intermezzo upon, I love the word upon, intermezzo founded upon an Irish air. See if you know or if you can work out what Irish air it is. It takes a while before the melody appears. I haven't actually spotted the melody yet. It's, ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so let's see if you can work it out. It's rather gentle and rather nice. How am I going to register this? I'm not sure. Let's find out.
That's a lovely little piece of music, isn't it? Stanford at its finest. Playing around with the melody of London Derriere. Is it London Derriere or London Derry Air? London Derriere. Danny Boy, to those who don't know. We have a ganz besondere neue Abonnentin. Oh, von Klimaschützer, von Eddie, die Tochter. Eva? That kriegst du, Eva. That kriegst du auf jeden Fall. That's coming at the end. We have a new subscriber. Um, you can see someone here called, um, called Klimaschützer, which means um, environment. Well, what does that mean? It sort of means climate climate um, saviour, saviour of the climate, if you want to know. And, um, and his, that's Eddie. You, you know him as Eddie. We've had Eddie here for a long time. And uh, Eddie's daughter, Eva, Eva, has just joined us as well. And she has a wonderful request, which is coming at the end anyway, so don't worry. Um, so yes, I hope you're enjoying yourself so far. I know I'm having a lot of fun. Now, while we're still on the classical stuff, Oops, I have another couple of bits of classical music. And one I discovered myself. I discovered this all by myself. Again, it's based on the St. Columba thing at the close of the day. Now, this is by a composer that you would probably not think would compose music like this. Very gentle, soft, and rather beautiful music. It is the legendary... Healy Willen. Remember Healy Willen? It's a piece, it's a composer I've never played a piece of music by ever. And I discovered this this evening when I was putting the program together. So again, it's going to be some sight reading. Um, but this is Healy Willen's Prelude for Organ on the melody at the close of the day. But not the melody you're thinking. Another one. Listen to this.
Isn't that a wonderful rendition of the melody Slain? Isn't that wonderful? At the close of the day by Healy Willen. I've never come across that before. It's rather delicious. It's quite sight readable. It's not difficult. Um, it's rather yummy. I like that. I like that a lot. There's one final piece of classical music before we move on to the fun stuff. And this is, this is, this is kind of weird, actually. This is, it's not a composer I know. And it's not a style of music I know either. And again, this was a request by our friend Jerry. And uh, it's again a lovely sort of, I think it's a, a, uh, an improvisation on an old Irish air called The Little Red Lark. The Little Red Lark. And this is a rather amazing piece of music. I have no idea who the composer is. I've never heard of him before. I'm guessing it's an American composer. It was composed in California in 1933, this piece of music. And it's the guy's called Joseph Clokey. Joseph W. Clokey. Never heard of him. Um, it's a very strange piece of music. It's got some rather weird middle bits. Let's see if I can play it. I, but it looks rather cool, so let's find out. Uh, it, as, it asks for some solo stuff, so I'm going to stick to what I've been doing so far. We've got a crumb horn there, and I think we can move to that. But it's very gentle again, and there's a lovely little sort of Irish melody in the middle of it. Are you enjoying the classical portion of this evening's concert? I hope you are. This is the final classical piece. After this, things get slightly more lively. Get ready. Talking of lively, I need a drink after this, so yes, work it out.
gorgeous little piece of music. I love the ending. Listen to this. I'm going to have to do this again. It's so beautiful. What amazing use of harmony. Mr. Clokey, Joseph Clokey. Right, I need, let's do a challenge. Let's see if we can find more music by Joseph Clokey. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to leave Alessandria. We are about to head across the pond to the United States of America. And we're going to head not into a church, but into an amazing cinema. And we're gonna head into a cinema organ and we're gonna play some wonderfully, wonderfully luscious Irish style music on a theater organ. But while the theater organ is loading, Mrs. Garcho is going to give me a glass and a can. And I am going to have a drink. Lebendiges, ja, that kommt jetzt. Vanessa's just saying in the background, it's time for me to play something a bit more lively. Well, look what I found. Look what I found in the supermarket this afternoon. A wonderful tin of the black stuff. Now, I don't have a proper Guinness glass. This is a German beer glass, half a litre glass. And of course, whoa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that at the organ. I've got it's on the bench, nowhere else. Right, that has to sort of sit and relax. Most of it's on the paper. Oh. Mm. No, 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 no. This, this, there's a special technique to pouring a pint of Guinness. It, isn't this beautiful? Oh. Oh, I haven't had a pint of Guinness in over 20 years. Oh, absolutely wonderful. That's a. Oh, it's the most beautiful smell in the world. How I miss that. Yes, now that's pouring out rather nicely. Good head on that already. Um, perhaps a tissue, Mrs. Garchor. Haben wir irgendwo ein Tuch, ein Tischtuch oder irgendwas? Ja. Ja, in der Nähe? Ja, wirklich? Okay. Yes, I only spilled a tiny little bit on the organ bench, and I'm not going to go and lick my organ bench. I'm not one of those organists who licks and sniffs their organs. Um, yes, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. A perfectly poured pint of the black stuff. <gasps> Magnificent. Okay, so I'll put it in the tube, yeah? You can take it when you want. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, Mrs. Garcho is about to leave the room. She's going to go and get some kind of um, cleaning device. So we can clean up this bit of this mess here. Now this is a pint in a half liter glass. So there you are. Come to Germany and drink half liters. It's more than a pint. That's a pretty good head on that. I'm very impressed with that. Ladies and gentlemen, to St. Patrick, to all our Irish friends out there, cheers, slange, and have a wonderful evening. Cheers, folks. Mm. Oh. oh, that's better. Oh, lovely. Mmm. Oh, oh, that is good. That is seriously good. Right, time then for a bit of Irish music. Take your partners, please, for a slow waltz.
Take your partners for all the fun waltz. Now then, let's be gentle, let's be romantic, and let's think back to the world of Bing Crosby. Oh, sorry, can I have that piece of tissue paper, please? Oh, she's even got me something to squirt at it to clean it properly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Is there something on the pedals as well? Oh, we'll get that later. That's not as important just now. That's not so important. That's stripping the paint on my bench. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen. What's that? That's how the men do it, she's saying. A very long time ago, Mr. Bing Crosby. Remember Bing Crosby? Mm. Bing Crosby sang this little piece of music, which I'm going to play in a sort of cheesy style for you, and then I promise we're going to sort of speed things up gradually towards the end here. So here we go. See if you recognize this.
Oh, sorry, I forgot to switch on my microphone. Oops, I'm sorry. That was Turaluralural, which is an incredibly difficult thing to say. <sighs> yes. Can't imagine they sing it very often in Japan. <laughs> Naughty me. That's an Irish lullaby. So there you are. Um, lovely piece of music. Very cute indeed. Now, we're leaving the Slushville and we're heading to more sort of rhythmic stuff, finally. And I'm changing the organ again. Um, I was just saying my computer has been driving me insane all week. Um, I, th I think it is finally dying. So, um, so we're starting to save up now. We're going to save up for a new computer. Now, whether it's going to be a PC or an upgraded Mac, we don't know yet. Obviously, I would love to buy one of those new Mac studios that have just been announced, but that's like 5,000 euros, or more actually, if you want to get a decent one, five or 6,000 euros, a stupid amount of money for a computer. So it won't be that, but um, we need to get a new PC or a new computer to run Hauptwerk for these things. This one is dying. There are lots of organs I have installed on there and some of them just actually don't work anymore. For some reason, the processor is clicking and clocking and making horrible noises and um, I've got it set up so that it plays Alessandria, which is the organ we played at the beginning, and it plays the theatre organs. The theatre organs don't need much RAM or much processing power. So it's, uh, yeah, it's getting a bit critical. So um, on the bright side, this means that we have to probably get back out and see some real organs again. So that would be rather exciting. Um, but um, it's not doing what it should be doing at the moment. At the moment. But... Fingers crossed, it's working there. So we're going to be saving up for a new and exciting PC at some point. So your donations that are coming in at the moment will be going towards that and uh, we'll obviously be matching that. So yes, so thank you very much for your help and assistance and um, we look forward to your help. Thank you very much indeed. A lot of people, occasion, occasion, well, occasionally a lot of people, um, ask me what I do for a real job. And well, this is my real job. I don't have another job. Um, I am a professional musician and I live from this and this alone. So um, yes, I don't rely on other sources of income like some uh, other musicians out there. So this is it. So yes, so we are sort of reliant a little on your help and YouTube's help. Some people say, oh, there's all these advertising things on your videos. Well, yeah, we kind of need that. Um, doesn't pay much, believe it or not, but every little helps. Right, see if you can work out what this is going to be.
McNamara's Band. That was also one, I think, that uh, Bing Crosby sung, wasn't it? Bing Crosby. There's a verse there in there about being Swedish or something like that. Something rather bizarre and rather wonderful in there. Now, we're going to save that for later. We're going to move back to the classical organ later on and uh, really go for it. But first. Someone requested this earlier on this evening. I can't remember who it was because it was much earlier. I'm very sorry about that. Um, a delicious little piece of music. Again, an Irish waltz. And it's rather lovely indeed. In the key of D major, and I think we will transpose to E flat at the same time.
when Irish eyes are smiling. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Right. One cheesy one. One cheesy one. I think this is what I need for that. Yes, this is what I need for that. Ah. I hope you're having a drink and getting ready for a dance because that we're building up to it. We're building up to it. This one is quite simply entitled Killarney. And it's a rather Gesundheit. It's a rather nice Irish ballad. In the key of G, it sounds like this.
lovely, lovely ballad simply called Killarney. I found a recording of that earlier this evening, play, uh, sung by sung by a soprano, giving it some big licks, and it, was, it sounded quite amazing. <laughs> it sounded quite amazing. Now then, we're going to play, I'm going to load up Alessandria again, the classical organ, get away from the theatre organ, Ooh. and back to the fun of the classical organ. I'm very much enjoying my Guinness here. This is rather nice. How are we doing this evening, Vanessa? Everything good? Yeah. Yeah? Um, der Ingo hat, Ingo hat eine andere Version von Möglich Sprache geschrieben. Ah, zeig mal. Leider ist das jetzt mit dem Fußball getroffen. That's okay, doesn't matter. Oh, I know that, yes. Um, yes. Yes. Oh, I know what it is. If you print it again, Print it again and go to weitere Einstellungen, Seiten pro, oder Seiten pro Blatt, es steht auf zwei momentan, weil ich drücke alles mit zwei Seiten pro Blatt. Du musst es nochmal machen, eine Seite pro Blatt. Deswegen, und dann macht es das Klo. Hä? Mach, mach mal drücken. Technical problem, ja? Nee. <lacht> Doch. So, weitere Einstellungen. Ach, gemein, ja. Ich kann das schon irgendwie. Geh mal her, geh auf Layout. <lacht> Le you know that, you know that, you know that image of the cat sort of going crazy at the computer nein, keyboard. Nein, ich bin sehr begabt. Ich bin sehr begabt. Seiten pro Blatt. Ja, ich bin Seiten pro Blatt. Bing! It will now print. <lacht> yes, yes, yes. Oh, we have an organ. Hello, organ. Um, peep, 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 there it is. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this I think you might enjoy. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's absolutely wonderful. Ha, 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 ha. Absolutely wonderful. And I found an old organ arrangement of this. I can't remember who it was by, and I'm going to try to copy it. See if we can work this out. So. So.
wonderful Kerry dance, which is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, while we're on the subject of the Kerry dance, I think we need to have another famous jig. What do you think of this? They're very fat, they're very lively, they're very happy. And probably slightly tipsy. Washerwoman, the Irish washerwoman. It had to be played, didn't it? We had to play it. Ooh. And when you've got a tuba, when you've got a tuba to play with, then you have to have fun with it. 
you absolutely have to have fun with it. On the subject of fun, let's see what you make of this. Sing along, enjoy it.
Yes, you're right. I forgot to switch my microphone on. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. My director is playing with Instagram in the background. What are you doing then in the background? My, my director is doing something else in the background. Sorry about that. Yes. No, no, no. Alles gut. Alles wunderbar. Alles wunderbar. Gar nichts da. No, no, no. Alles wunderbar. Um, sorry, the microphone is back. Yes, my director forgot to switch it on. <clears throat> um, where was I? Where was I? Oh, yes, we have to gradually calm genau. things down towards midnight. What, what, what? Rien, genau. Uh -huh. He's lost. Genau. Not even half a glass, Rien, not even half a glass. No, 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 don't worry. Not at all. I'm not that much of a lightweight. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes, we have to calm things down, running up towards midnight. And um, we have to, of course, include the Irish blessing. Um, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. And um, there are two versions of that that I know, one of which is actually found in the German hymn book. And sounds like this. The second one is our final piece for tonight. So this is the second last piece for tonight. There you are. Now that's the sort of the German version of the Irish blessing. Now this is another version of it by a chap called James Moore. And this was requested by um, our friend um, Klimaschützer, yeah. Eddie, for his daughter Eva. Eva. So this is what we're doing right now. May the road rise to meet you. And this is rather beautiful. I actually sing this with my choirs. Uh, that's how beautiful it is. It's wonderful. Sounds like this.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was our Irish night for tonight. I'm, of course, going to finish off with something a bit more lively to finish it off. Another of my naughty improvisations on something Irish here. And I hope you like it. That was, like I said, our Irish night. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for uh, your suggestions. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your thumbs up. If you haven't already given us a thumbs up, now is the time. Uh, thank you for your communications. I think there were some emails this evening as well. Yeah, people have been communicating with us. Um, don't forget, first of all, don't forget from the 1st to the 7th of May, do we have a picture? Let me know when the picture's there. Here's the picture in three, two, or one picture. We are putting on our own organ festival from the 1st to the 7th of May. So put that date or put those dates in your diary every day from the 1st to the 7th. Every day through that first week in May this year, we will be doing an online organ festival including music from here from home from out and about at real organs and maybe even some surprise guests that will be good fun indeed so put that in your diaries don't forget join us for that that'll be something very exciting to look forward to in the early summer days of this year Thank you very much indeed. On Sunday night, we will be back with an evening of more organ music, some more fun and games here on Sunday night. And until then, I wish you a happy weekend. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for donating. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for being wonderful. Cheers and see you then.
That's it, ladies and gentlemen. See you all Sunday. Bye-bye.